Hey there, I'm John Cox with Board Game Geek, and today we have Mel Primus here. Uh, we're looking at uh, Penny Lane from Sparkworks. Uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit about it? All right, Sparkworks is our uh, worker placement game. Um, uh, uh, my partner Justin and I uh, designed Mintworks originally. Um, this is kind of using a similar engine underneath it, but we've added a lot more features on top of it to kind of expand it out into a slightly bigger game. Okay. Um, so on your turn, like a typical worker placement game, you're going to be uh, taking an action by placing um, tokens out onto this board. But instead of using workers, um, you're actually just using pennies. Okay. Like penny lane. Yep. Um, so you'll choose one of these various locations out here, such as becoming the, the first player. It costs one penny to go there. Mm -hmm. um, you could use the black market for three, and so on like that. Mm -hmm. um, some of these buildings out here, um, these are what you're going to be trying to add to your lane. You're trying to make the, the most beautiful lane in the neighborhood. Okay. Um, so you're going to be collecting these various different cards um, using a few different locations out here, such as the uh, Mason's Guild, uh, which you'll actually pay the cost that's on these cards. Mm -hmm. um, there's four different types of cards in the game. Um, there's your residential ones, and they will all go on the bottom part of your lane. The other three types um, will go on the top part of your lane. So once you acquire these cards, there's a bit of a tableau building on uh, thing on here where we be matching these various links uh, you'll notice on the sides of the cards here. I did notice that, yeah, okay. So um, there's penny links and uh, victory point links. Uh -huh. um, so as you place these out here, you're going to be trying to, and you don't have to, um, complete those by placing them against your lane. Uh -huh. So here, um, during every upkeep, when the round ends, you get an additional penny. If you complete the, uh, the victory point ones, it gives you an extra point towards the game. And the various different special abilities on these cards um, will give you other ways to get additional income um, or additional points. Um, now, with all these uh, residential buildings, you're going to get actual citizens, which will come in as you buy these and place them. They will give you a citizen, which you can then employ in various other buildings in the game, such as this stationer here. Um, you, you would, on a future turn, go to the Gazette, basically taking out an ad to, we need a worker here. Mm -hmm. And then you would move your citizen from your residential building into your uh, stationers here, for example. And now um, you've actually revealed a victory point here by getting them a job uh -huh. and potentially uh, activating the ability that's on this card. Okay. Um, the game goes um, until somebody has 10 or more victory points, which is tracked up here on the top. Mm -hmm. um, we finish the round out, and whoever has the most wins. Cool. I'm curious, as we're putting our coins out onto these spots, is there a moment where these clear off? Yeah. Um, basically, once everybody passes, um, either they've run out of money or they decide they want to save it for the next round, yeah. um, then we will clear all of these uh, spots off of money. Um, everybody will do their upkeep, which will either get them more money, potentially generating more citizens back on their, their player tableau okay. out here, and we do another round, and we keep going until... The end game condition is triggered. Great. Uh, how many players does this play and about how long? Um, this is uh, two to five players, and it's about about a half hour. Okay. I think. Great. Great. Well, uh, thanks for uh, showing us Penny Lane, Mel. Thank you very much.